Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talk and Shed. Uh, as you can see, we got some snow here in Ohio, but uh, we're always working on cover crop seeding. And uh, that's what we've got right here behind us. This is a 25 foot Krauss accelerator. Uh, the Krauss is a pretty popular tool, and it's one that we put a lot of these cover crop seeders on. Um, but this one right here, this is a 6056. It's the largest model that we offer. It has got 24 outlets, if you look up in there. And on some of you guys, we've talked about the blocker kits. And right here is a good display of one, if you can really show a good video of that or get real in there close. But what we're doing here is we're blocking off these three ports. And what we do is we take uh, these segments off of the roller and then we block the seed from coming down and no seed is then dropped into those cups. And so what we're doing there is uh, on a 25 foot tool, there's no need to have 24 rows of outlets. So we block some of them off to have better spacing back there at our deflectors. I'll get to that here in a second. But as you can see, this one here is ground driven. So as you let this tool down, this tire obviously spins which spins that chain, which then comes up and spins the gearbox. You can see that right there. So there's the gearbox, and that is where we change and control our rate. We've got different sprocket combinations, and what's really nice is that Valmar provides a chart. So if you wanna put out 35 pounds of rye, they tell you where to set the gearbox, and uh, it's really nice. You do a calibration, and uh, from there, as you raise and lower your tool, it is gonna basically turn on and off by itself as the contact wheel allows. Uh, on this one, we've got a side ladder kit. Works out really well to climb up there and uh, fill the box with seed. So real nifty, fit real well. You can see the heavy duty brackets up in there for the 25 foot Krauss. Uh, on the Krauss accelerators, as many of you know, we put the deflectors in between the two gangs. The reason for that is, is I feel that's where we get the best incorporation, and ba based on customer feedback, that has held true. Um, with these tools, of course, you can angle the gangs, and if you put it up front, uh, we've seen cases where it gets buried too deep. So. What I really like about this is you've got a real nice clean area for all this seed to hit the deflector and scatter out and, uh, and really get nice even distribution across the tool. So back to the blocker kit scenario, had we not blocked off uh, six rows, we would have deflectors stacked right up against each other and it would create a lot more hose. And, and when, when these deflectors can scatter out, 30 plus inches, there's no need to have that much. So we block them down <clears throat> to have a cleaner and uh, just a better install. You don't have pinching when you fold and stuff like that. So really nice uh, install we did. This customer is uh, down south of our shop here, probably 40 minutes. Uh, he purchased the cedar, wanted us to, to bring the tool up here. We went down to his farm, picked up the accelerator and put it in our shop and we did a turnkey installation. So it went really well, and as soon as the roads clear off here in Ohio sometime, we're gonna get this thing installed, or uh, delivered, I should say, back to the farmer. So another Valmar install here in the frigid temperatures of January, but we're always looking towards that July timeframe. That's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.